Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here, back nine, out at Pasadena, California. We're getting ready for the... The back nine. The, oh, the 42nd there annual Wintertime Open. There's, once it gets so high, it's hard to keep track. Yeah, they did, like I said in the last video, they did a Dodger-themed font with it. I thought it was Jackie Robinson. Yeah, so you would have made sense for 42nd. And we're out in LA, which also would make sense. Yeah, this is what gave it away was my disc says the 42nd annual. This okay, is, now it's last is, year. This, this is this year. Oh, this is this year's. Okay, so it's definitely the 42nd. Front nine, there were some blunders, there were some good throws, but we have a special guest for you guys. The legend himself, the 2019 champion, has decided to grace his presence. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Guys, for you don't know, Adam, he won last year. He's already won. Oh, he's yeah. He's already won two tournaments already. Yep. And there might have to be a video because I did claim that Paul was the greatest putter in the world, but I've heard some rumors <laughs> that you might be the greatest putter in the world. Thoughts? I, we should do a battle. There might be a putting we should, battle. We should do it. And then me and Hannah can just commentate because let's be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty good at putting, Brody. Okay. Yeah, you are better than me. I agree. What we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna have a little fun here on the back nine. We're gonna continue to play our own disc but we're gonna do doubles combined score. Yep. So whatever Hannah shoots and whatever Paul shoots, they are Team Macbeth. You guys can come up with a more clever name. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. If you want. <laughs> we're gonna go with the Young Guns. Do you like that? Yeah. I just came up with it. We're gonna go with the Young Guns <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see who wins here on the back nine. So we're jumping in hole number 10 right now. Hole number 10, hopefully no one falls victim to this tree right in front of the tee pad. There are some markings, so it has been hit, but hopefully it won't be by your disc. At 302 feet, all you really need is like a mid-range or so. Throw it up in a hyzer so it falls down and misses all these bushes because these bushes will not be your friend. All right, I love the confidence, guys. Hannah didn't even talk to Paul on who wanted to throw first. She just took the tee box. She says, Adam, you might have won the tournament last year, but this is my course. Oh my gosh, that got really close. Great throw. Thanks. All right, Paul's stepping up now. I don't know how I feel about them just allowing me to name their team name. Okay, they both both had ace runs at it though. Adam, I'm gonna let you go first. All right. Since you... Zone. Okay, he's feeling the zone here. Also a member of Team Discraft, guys. Oh, and that is a buttery smooth line. Come in a little bit. You like that putt? Yep. Okay, he loves it. All right. I always tell him behind the camera because it goes from up here to, know your bag to down you. here. Oh, you can get freaky. Yeah, you can get freaky with my bag. Here's the thing. I was actually going to throw a backhand, and then my teammate threw a forehand zone. So I feel like I have to do the same. Oh, I like it. Come on I now. I like it. Come on now. Young guns, baby. Young guns, let's go. The champ is here. The champ is here. What are your thoughts on this course? Obviously, coming um, off of a win last year, how do you feel about it? I think this is a really fun course, not necessarily a very difficult course. Oh boy. We literally said in part one that this is the hardest course I've ever played. <laughs> and you just said it's not a difficult course. <laughs> they made some changes this year that made the course a little easier and okay. they're going to score a little bit better. But for the most part, I love coming out here and I'm excited and this course is sweet. All right, favorite hole on the course? Favorite hole. Do you have a favorite or do you just have too many? Because you just don't. I think it's spider tree, honestly. Spire tree? Yeah. That's it's good. It's a unique hole. And then last question, what do you think? I asked Paul this earlier in part one. What do you think the winning score is going to be? This year, I think it's going to be 30 under or even better. Okay, these guys are pretty good because they literally said the same exact thing. I think... 30 under is going to be top three. All right, 30 under. Let's see the throws. This is, is this you, Hannah? Yeah. This is Hannah parked it. I don't see yours yet, Brody. Paul's There's back. a zone. That's me back there. Paul's back there. Brody's and I threw a grade zone. Right there. Oh. And I'm, oh, I'm over there. Nice. All right. So, okay, Hannah. Oh, Han I almost didn't get that, Hannah. <laughs> Brody did not hand me the camera recording, which I think is super weird. Uh -oh. Light headwind. 
All right, Adam, I'm feeling didn't good lift it up here, as much so as he I wanted. I want to try at the same time. All right. Because we're like literally in line. Yeah. So it's like we're looking into each other's soul. Let's do it. You give me like Wait, a. Wait, what? Just stand behind Adam. Okay, I got it. Like a countdown of when you're feeling it. Three, two, one. Young guns. Oh my god. I almost left it short. I almost left it short. <laughs> Hole number 11 requires almost the same shot as hole 10. It's just a little bit further at 318. Normally plays into the wind, so you wanna probably throw a little bit of an overstable fairway driver at it. Again, this is the part of the course that you really need to take advantage of because there's nothing really stopping a disc to get close here. Just aim and shoot. Guys, I just got a beautiful gift from my newest team member. <laughs> Look at this. The Jacob Curtis Cupcake Mini. Thank you so much. I'm gonna use this in my first tournament. All right, Adam's got a disc that I don't think I've actually ever thrown. Flat, stiff, very overstable. Super overstable predator. Good in the wind. Okay, he likes it in the wind. Disc is way out there. He threw it super wide, but that thing is coming in and it skips. I like oh my that. gosh, I don't know how my zooming was there. I hopefully I didn't ruin that shot because it was beautiful. I'm gonna try to do the same thing but with a different disc. Because I believe this can do the same thing. Oh, I need to sit down. Guide it a little bit. Sit down. Okay. Way too much hyzer. Alright, Hannah is locked and loaded here. Oh, getting a little wind test. The wind is minimal, but it is in the face a little bit. Throwing it low, keeping it out of the wind. And a big skip, it gets it. And she's got a putt. I think she's got a putt. All right, Paul now coming up. He goes wide like Adam. And gets a skip as well. I'll take it. And we'll see what happens. I'm definitely the furthest away, but Paul's gonna go. It's a little windy. It is a little windy, guys. Probably about 35, 40 feet. Yes! Oh, wow, now we're celebrating over here. Where was the celebration earlier? Well, now it's... Oh, it's, it's, it's on. Just... It's on like Donkey Kong, is yeah. that what it is? All right, we're gonna keep it live. You go and then you go. Yeah, we'll do that, it's fine. A little gamesmanship, keeping it live here. Hannah? Oh yeah, gosh, dirty, oh dirty. boy, here we go. You can give it a good run. But yeah, like, give it a good run. You have some shrubs behind it if you miss left. Yeah, have it like go, die. Go slow it down a little bit. Get some coaching from Adam. It's about 45. This is, if he Go makes it, this right. is a yeah, so get it like higher than you pro think. caliber putt for and sure. Like, maybe a little left. A little left. Okay. Just a little bit, maybe just like left side. That was a little freaky, I didn't like that. I'm a big fan of hole number 12. It's a short par three at 228 feet, but it does offer a lot of reward for good shots and a big penalty for a bad shot. With an island green, if you do not hit inside these rocks, you have to take a drop, which is over there to the right, which is about a 40 footer. So it really, really penalizes someone that can't get this one close. Mm -hmm. and then, well, we got some strategy. Some one, so I'm awesome. thinking to throw the understable one, just like you just want to make the right. You just want to be left of the basket. Okay. So whatever you feel comfortable. A little bit more strategy on this hole, cause it is an island hole. It's short, but it is tricky. Throws it out to the right. She needs to get it lucky. Oh, oh my gosh. That's close. Did it ride the tree down? That's close. Wow. Okay, Hannah. I see you. Paul throwing a wide zone hyzer. And he likes it. All right. All Paul really needed was a little bit of competition, and then he just got his juices flowing. All right. 
I think he's birdied the last four or five holes. We're going to throw the exact same disc ball through. Okay. Zone. Same exact disc. We're going to go sidearm. Oh, Adam's going sidearm. We're going to switch angles here. He's throwing it wide out there with the sidearm. Hopefully it's sat. Took a bad skip. Wow. Perfect. I always throw this hole a little short. I don't know why. Adam, partner, oh. is that you? The gold? Yeah, I took a bad skip. Wait, where's the Paul? Place. I'm right here. I'm safe. And Paul's safe. Okay. So now, what is the play? Okay, this is our our second OB occurrence on video. So, oh. what do you do? Drop zone. Oh, he's got to go drop. Oh, because there's a drop zone. And Hannah, I think, is fine with her putt here, so she's got a good look. So, oh, that is, oh, this is a dark horse drop zone. Just kind of outside of circle one, I would say. Probably like a 40, 45 footer. 45 footer or so, Adam thinks. This would be huge. Oh my gosh. All right, a little bush in the way. Paul likes Hannah to go next. Great birdie. This is for back-to-back -back star frames for the Macbeth. Ooh, that one wanted to take a peek outside, but. Perfect. Funny. Putting stroke's looking good, Brody. Is it? Looking good. I wonder who I uh, got help from to make it looking good. Have we even talked? Paul's no longer in the boot, guys. Yeah, no. but he's got a little guy. He's got a little sprain. He's got a little guy. Is that what you <laughs> said? Does he have a, did you name it already, Hannah? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a name, but no longer in the boot. No, we got this intense sprain. So. We didn't even say anything. You literally just came out here and just started chucking this, and people were probably like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, he's only been throwing without it for like three or four days or something, so it hasn't been that long. Focusing hard on walking properly. Because I know a lot of people will come out of these injuries and boots and they'll be like swinging it. And not whatnot. using it? Hey, I did not. Um, so I'm really focusing on walking properly, getting the walking gait dialed in, and just playing like it never happened. Well, I can, I can speak for everyone. We are happy that you're out again and playing and wish you the best of luck moving Thank you. forward. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. I can't play like as intense as I want to, but that's fine. That's the patience part of it right now. So play the one round, not play four rounds in a day. One round and good. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Exactly. Hole number 13, a par three. It's the toughest hole on the course, I think, at 429 feet. I think most people would be very happy with making par here all three rounds. It requires a huge tee shot off the tee. That tree, you're gonna have to try to bend something around there, but be careful not to turn it over too much because there is OB on the right. And the basket is pushed all the way in the back now, so it does have a low ceiling for your putts. We played this hole earlier today. We did like a little six, hole loop and played a couple of these holes this is probably the hardest hole i've ever played it's just very difficult this time i'm switching my shot because this is to the old school spot so you're trying to push I it even further Dave back Anheuser. okay this is a throw i probably don't have yep definitely did not have that oh i did not turn it enough though. but you didn't turn it it's uh -oh. safe it's safe but it's in Actually, a different zip code hey hannah are you doing the same play there uh, I'm gonna stick with my. Okay, she's going back to her strategy. Out of the darkness into the lightness. Oh, oh no. wow, that's getting taken by the wind. That's the disc golf green monster. Yep. All right, we got a force here. Oh, sorry, that's a little touch flex shot. A touch flex shot. Yeah, stick in the way. From Adam. A little twig. Ooh, just, oh my gosh. I don't know if we call that touch at all because you ripped it, but that was insane. I you like actually it. might have a I birdie like look. Skipped. Wow. Coaching from his teammate. Really get the Anheuser. Yeah, you gotta yank it over. If that's a table course. I 
right at him! Honestly, I think that was like enough, but I yeah. started it 30 or 40 left, feet left. Was, yeah. Hannah's disc, this is what she's looking at. And unfortunately, I'm in the same boat. She has a little bit better of a gap because I think she can take it through this right there. The pin is really far away though still. She gets it through the gap. I don't know, is that OB over there or are you down? I'm not sure. We'll see. This is, Adam, I think this is where I would love to have a roller. Yeah, right? there's is some it, rocks up there that might stop the roller and some logs. What do you think is the best option here? We have low ceilings, so we got to throw something kind of fast. How good is your like buzz flick game? Can you like manipulate it like a little Anheuser buzz? Yeah, you want to throw a little Anheuser buzz? I would go like, I would get on a knee right here, and I would throw probably like an Anheuser mid range through this gap. I have a meteor too, which is also, if I throw that on, uh, we're just trying to get um, an Anheuser. Yeah, that'll work. A meteor? A meteor will work. We just don't want to go B. We want to make sure we get that Anheuser. Yeah, because the meteor, I can I can put that on an Anheuser a lot better than a buzz. And it'll Perfect. stay. Yeah. So, Joe, I'm trying to aim like right, right in here. All right, guys. Brody with a pretty tough shot. Talking to his partner. Ah! Whoa! Yeah, that's good. He gets ah, the okay from his partner. I might have, We're I out. Might have gone on a knee. Oh, I definitely should have gone on a knee. You get way more arm. I was up here and I just, I kind of just had to do like this. Oh. I kind of want to throw this. this, is, this All is right. Hard We're going to give Adam a go. Let's see what Adam can do. Scramble mode here from a knee. Ooh. A little more Anheuser would have been better. Yeah, but you got through the gap way better. That's a sweet shot. Paul was in the pits of despair over there. He didn't know it was OB, so I think. Evens out. So this actually helps you though, because in a tournament you're not going to throw that anymore. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, that was great. All right. Good recovery shot. Adam's in a great position for Birdie. Brody is. This is my third throw. Yeah, he's going to scramble to take a four, so it's going to be it's going to be close after this hole. Good up shot. Right. Playing those rocks in the backboard. Hannah now. You did go beyond her second throw, so this is for a bogey. We're gonna have a sick pan across this tree. Really dial that in. Oh no, it hit a tree. And it's dropped. All right, Adam, this is our time to shine. Don't believe anyone could birdie this hole, and Adam could prove me wrong right here after a very impressive drive. The sweet sound of chains. Paul's gonna tap in. What's up, Brody? What up, what up? We got the Europeans flying over, guys. It's fun to see a bunch of people here. I got yours. I think you gotta reach the basket from there. Oh, is that, oh, is that my first gimme? Wait, let me, I think I need to make it though, just so people get. So people don't get freaky. Let's just reach it. I've seen on hole 14 forehands and I've seen backhands. You do see the two mandatories that you have to go through and avoid that tree in the middle there. The forehand gap is there. The backhand gap is there as well. If you want it, um, you have this tree that's kind of, I don't know if that was there last year or just got knocked down, but it is kind of right in the way. So you want to avoid that and then skip something up to this basket. Oh yes. Keep going. Keep coming. You played it at 280. I love it. Oh guys, it, it did it just get toasty in here? 
Did it just get warm in here? Paul's going with a nice Anheuser Buzz. Almost hits metal. Wow. Okay. There we go. Starting to heat up, folks. Guys, I think this was our best combined hole. And what was this an easy hole, or did we just make it look easy? Hey, Brody, can you like I mean, get yours closer next time? It's not the easiest, but it's not the hardest. So it's mid range. Also, Hannah, the trash talking right now? No drama. I think we could just all go in sequence here. One. That might have been my hardest part of the day. Yeah, we're just going to keep it live. Oh, guys. Oh! I got a sick shot of that. Yep. Our first star frame. Bing, 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 bing. Bring those chains. Great hole, everyone. Hole 15 is one of my favorite holes on the course. You'll see here in a second, but it does require almost a very identical shot to last hole either a forehand or a backhand Anheuser through these gaps right there. And you wanna land this something a little short of the bathroom because the bathroom is OB. And you will see right here, we have our first elevated basket. I don't know why guys, but I'm a huge fan of them. Guys, we've checked the scores. It looks like Team Young Guns are up by two shots. He's going Raptor, probably a sidearm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, it didn't hit anything? A little bit too much. Yep. That's not a good spot, I'll tell you that right now. Flex in. All right. You, Hannah's just going with the layup. Smart play. You can see the basket is my height. No risk in going for it. Do it. Oh! That was so cool. All right, a little cleanup par for Paul there, Hannah as well. The higher basket really does make it to where like that 40, 50 footer that you might go for on a normal basket makes it a little bit more difficult to go. Now some swag there from Paul, taking it out. All right, we got Adam now cleaning up his par. Nice. Personally, I would love to play a course or a tournament that had all high baskets. If that's something that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. Adam, do you know a place? He said that! <laughs> a challenging two shot par four at 441 feet. It's not the longest hole, but it does play uphill. And with the trees and mandatory off the tee shot, there really isn't a great way of getting the disc to push all the way to the basket. Most players are going to want to look to land their disc roughly around that picnic table there on the left, which is going to require, again, a second technical shot because you can see there's just a lot of trees, a lot of kind of debris and things to hit on the way to this basket all the way in the back here. That's a sweet looking disc. Tracker. Just picked it up. Let's see. All right. First throw with the tracker. Tracking, tracking, tracking. All right, it's tracked a little bit into the brushes, but it's all, right. it's all right. Brody forgot what he threw on this one in practice, so. I'm not trying to go over that tree. He's though. going crank. No, you want to go inside the one Adam just hit. Okay. Just inside of it. Oh, that was a good tree. It's playable. Mm. All right, Team Macbeth. Oh my God, he is through. Oh, he wants it down. Oh, just clips the tree. Foot too high. Get up, oh, no, get no. up, get up. Oh. Hannah decided to make a quick pit stop into Jumanji. Roll. Roll. Oh, it's going. Wow, great out. 
Adam is scoping out his shot here. Go right side gap. A little backhand down this side over here. All right, he hit a tree, but it went forward. Okay, me and Paul ended up hitting the same tree. Mine just went a little bit in front. Got a little bit of a low ceiling. Yeah, a little too low for that distance. He's not feeling it. Finds a gap that I did not know existed. He's up there by the picnic table. So you right. like the Anheuser forehand and the gap that Paul just did? Yeah, just throw like a little touch Anheuser. Up. Get it nice and high so just let it glide down. I gotta throw it pretty hard though for it to get all the way back there, yeah? Yeah, decent, decent amount. I'm not gonna run up. That's money. Good shot. Captain! Good shot. It's a little bit of the strategy going over here, guys, but I'm sure they got low ceiling. Low ceiling. Mm -hmm. Dialed up for Hannah here. Oh my gosh. Softly. Nice throw, Hannah. Guys, we are heating up and I love the competition. Oh, we got a jump putt coming, he's claiming. Oh, wow, what a shot. That was sick. Oh, great three from Paul. Fantastic birdie. He has come to play here on the back nine with a little bit of a further putt than Adam for her par. Oh, gosh. Brody threw an amazing upshot. Great birdie. That was all coaching. That was definitely not the throw I was looking for there. So that's, we'll take it. Hole 17 is another Island Green par three at 291 feet. This one is a pretty challenging tee shot. I do see that some people are going to probably lay up and not even challenge because the road is OB and with these boulders right here, you can get super unlucky with just hitting them and having it stop right into this road right here, which is OB. So if you want to go for it, it's going to require a really great shot. We are on the Highland hole. This is where the change. I think we are up we by three now. Three now. No, because she parred and I birdied and you guys both parred. Right? Oh, no. no, she no, bogeyed. You. I birdied. I parred. You bogeyed? Oh yeah, you were in the blur. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Adam are two. I think yeah, we're three. Two? You're up two. Because Paul's a two plot, at two up. Paul's six down. Oh, Hannah's no. You got to go. So you got to go back nine, back nine only. Right. Oh, back nine only. Kind of yeah, you got to go back. All right. Hold on one second. We'll figure it out in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after 45 minutes with Jeff uh, telling us the score, we are up three, young guns, but with the island green, anything can happen. Does he like it? Oh, great rock. All right. He's in play. No, Brody. Get lucky. Sit. All set. Great layup. All right. Ace run. All right. This would be huge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Great shot, Paul. Might be okay over there. It looks like we are all okay. Hannah with a super dark horse situation. It's the road, right? Yeah, I think you're, she's on grass. That's safe. I mean, we have the TD here, so he would know. Adam is safe. I am safe over here by the rock. And then I think Paul is parked. So if try we me. end up if you end up making this, that'd be I'm I gonna mean, try. I mean that'd be oh, absolutely yeah, that'd be absolutely filthy.
Yeah. That was a good run, though. Wow, great shot, Hannah. Go, go, go. On the island green, dirty. Great birdie. And then it looks like me, Adam, and Hannah. Yeah, we have, we've got some lumber situation. All right, puts a little pressure on my putt now because Paul has eliminated the lead to two strokes now. Even though this is close, it's very awkward footwork and he's got to hold his balance. We have made it to hole number 18. And I think 16, 17, 18, that last three hole stretch is really gonna decide who wins this tournament. Whoever plays those three holes the best, I think will get the job done this weekend. You can see that we have a mandatory here coming up on the left hand side. So it forces you to have to throw a really low ceiling shot and hopefully landing somewhere around here. That'll give you a visual on the basket. And again, it's tight, tight lines that you're gonna have to try to find and commit to through all these trees here. You've got OB real close there on the left, OB behind the basket. The street is OB on the right. Just a really challenging, tough hole to finish out your tournament. All right, we have made it to hole 18. How are we feeling? Pressure? No pressure. I think we just need to get an eagle and Hannah needs a par. I think that'll be... So Paul's going for eagle, Hannah's going for par. And that means that me and Adam both have to, dude, if we par, we put him in a really tough spot. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. I'm a birdie. Okay, Adam's going for a birdie. All right, I think, All right. I think we're, I think we have the tee. Oh no, you have yeah, the tee, cause you guys just buried that hole. I have to go big though. Do you got him in my bag? No, you're good. I really gotta get this down the fairway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the Paul gap. Oh my gosh. Oh, it fell right there. I don't know what happened, but that's the Paul gap. All right. That's okay. You're safe though. All right, we're gonna go back to this tracker. Okay. Tell it out there flat. I'm just feeling the tracker. Get up a little bit, a little height. Oh. oh. A little bit of headwind right. caught that. Oh, oh yeah, Jeez. That perfect. perfect. That almost was disaster house. So we don't know exactly where Paul is. Adam's in a good spot. Wow, Hannah came to play. Great throw, Hannah. When everyone cheers for you and you're like, are they cheering because they believed in me or didn't believe in me? You be the judge. You know how I feel. <laughs> Paul almost made it. I'm worried, dude. The, you want me to move it right now? Yeah, the TD is offering to move it, which would be a violation of the uh, challenge that we're currently doing. So Team Young Gun says no. Play it as it lies. Just to kind of give you guys what he's looking at. The basket is all the way down there where those guys are currently at. All right, around the Mando though, but it clipped this little ghost tree. All right, Adam's just gonna try to play this one around the corner. Mando's right there. All right, that was very, that was a very interesting gap. That didn't go where I wanted. Yeah, for a layup, that was a very interesting gap. Paul from this OB drop. Wide hyzer. Drops it right in on the basket. Great throw. Team Young Guns can pretty much limp their way to the finish line here. Not that, not that. Oh, that was one boulder away from being parked. Not that. Oh, yeah. That's my par putt, yeah. All 
Uh oh. We all we all are starting to a little bit on the struggle bus here at the end. I think it's time for Chipotle. <laughs> we are limping our way to the finish line. Well, up we win. I, we we don't really know what the score is currently. We're up two, but like everyone on the course right now is having a dark horse hole. Okay. What, what am I doing putting wise here? Am I having to go over this first limb? I think so. And under the second one? Yep. yep. On a little hyzer? Kind of. Get it flat. Try to get it as flat as possible. Flat, and up and over, and then. Try to get it flat, like a foot over the top of that, and then the putter should just fall naturally right into okay. the bucket. Oh. I gave it my best effort. Hey, Hannah now. Getting the scores right now. No one really knows what the scores are for this hole. Oh! But I think that's gonna make it interesting. Wow! All right, Paul's in with a five there. And I think me and Adam both, are we both putting for five? I'm putting for five, I think. Okay. Yeah. You're putting for five, I'm putting for five. All right, and we'll solo dolo it to finish with a bogey, unfortunately. All right, we'll tally up the scores and let you know. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Team Young Guns gets the W today by one shot. But that was a fun course. It obviously shows me a lot of things I need to work on, but it's always fun playing with the pros so you can see what they're throwing and what they're shooting. I think I probably gained four or five shots simply just from these guys telling me the right throw. So that's something that when I'm playing by myself, I'm gonna have to learn how to do and all that stuff. So make sure you check these guys out on Instagram. Check out Adam's Instagram. Obviously check out Paul and Hannah's Instagram and YouTube as well. And again, if you wanna tune in to this tournament, I'm gonna put the links down below for you guys to watch the live. Well, it's like post live. It's gonna be a day after they actually play. But you can check it out. It's going to be really, really cool coverage. You can see these guys playing in tournament conditions. And it's going to be really, really fun to watch. So check that out down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep slinging them discs.